Welcome Yana and I'm going to talk to you today about images. So there's a few different ways that images can be stored on a computer. Uh, one of the ways that we're going to be looking at is what's called a bitmap image. Now a bitmap image is an image that is made up of pixels and a pixel is what's called a picture element uh, and that's the, uh, the smallest part of an image. So what you can see on the screen here is I've got my image kind of set up and my image is divided up into a grid and each grid represents a pixel. So each one of these is a pixel and it's the sm smallest part of an image. So what I've got here is the pixels have been given a value, either a one or a zero. And in this case, zero means white and one means black. Now what you can see is I've got one bit in each pixel. So one bit gives me two colors. And I've got white and black as those two colors. So we're just gonna annotate this uh, a little bit more. What we've got is we've got our width of this image, which we can see is uh, two, four, six, eight, ten pixels. And we've got the height of our image, which again should be ten pixels. So we've got quite a nice square image here, uh, a width of 10 pixels, a height of 10 pixels, and there is one bit in every pixel, and that spells out the word high, as you can see. So one of the things that we need to be able to do with the images is to be able to explain what's called color depth. So color depth is the number of bits per pixel. So number of bits per pixel. So in the example that we have here, our color depth would be one because there is one bit in every pixel. We can see there's one bit here, there's one bit in, in here. Now, now that we know what our color depth is, we can calculate the file size. So there is a formula for the file size. The file size is the width times height times color depth. So in this part here, uh, what we do is we would substitute these so width was 10 height is 10 and color depth was one so we times them together and that should give us 100 but it's 100 what well the answer is it's 100 bits so this is our file size in bits so a hundred bits and if we went up and we actually calculated that uh, we would go through one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and so on. So there is a hundred bits per pixel. Um, this, this file will be a hundred bits. So on your computer, it would take up a hundred bits worth of space. So if we wanted to then get that as a, a byte, we'd need to divide it by eight. Kilobytes, we'd divide it by eight and then divide it by a thousand, etc. So what you can see is what happens is if we increase the number of bits available, the color depth increases. So here now we've got our color depth is three because there are three bits in every pixel. So our file size now would be 10 times 10 times three which would be 300 bits. So as you can see, as the number, as the color depth increases, as the number of bits per pixel increases, so does the file size. So if we want to reduce the file size, we can reduce the number of colors. In this case, the number of colors available has remained as black and white. Uh, there's two colors available, but we can 
to work out the number of colors, remember, to work out the number of colors available, we do our base is two, because this is binary, so this is our base. And we do to the power of how many bits are available. So for example, this here would equal eight colors available. Let me write that correctly. Eight is colors. So what we're looking at now is we've been able to add in two colors. So you can see what we've got is we've got two bits. So our color depth here is now two. And we've got two bits to represent every pixel. And what we've done is we've assigned a different color to each of those pixels. So what I'm able to do now is if I show you this uh, on Excel where I've got it set up, as I begin to change some of the values, you can see the colors also change. So if I was to want to make this one black, I just have to put the B, uh, the binary value in. So we can see this is how an image works. Every pixel is given a, um, a value. That value corresponds to a color. So one of the things that we that we have now is, or one of the things that you need to be able to do, is to be able to calculate the file size. So you can see what I've got here is I've got uh, two bits per pixel. Uh, it's a width of 10, a height of 10, as we've seen previously. Therefore, um, width times height times color depth would be 10 times 10 times two, which would equal 200 bits. Having a look then at what we've got here, what you can see is as we increase the color depth, so if I was to make this five bits, you can see I've got now five bits in all these pixels here. The number of colors available is 32, and my file size is 500 bits. Again, if I reduce the color depth, I've got four colors available, and now it's 200 bits. What will happen, obviously, as we get to, into the realms of eight and nine bits, so uh, seven and eight bits, that goes to 128 different colors and the 700 bits. So you can see the number of zeros and ones throughout the picture. That's all the information that will get stored on the computer. So hopefully this has been helpful in terms of explaining what images are and kind of how they work. There's gonna be some tasks for you to complete uh, on images. If you have any questions, as always, you know how to get in touch.